Hi and welcome back to the Time Then channel. The technology, research, development, engineering, fielding, and maintenance of the U.S. military's food, clothes, shelters, airdrop systems, and soldier support items are all handled by the Natick Soldier Systems Center. In 1962, work on the research center that would later become known as Natick Army Labs began. In order to develop contemporary weaponry for its contemporary military after World War II, policymakers desired a centralized quartermaster research and development department. Since then, a lot of technical advancements have seeped into everyday life. The mall, interceptor body armor, bulletproof apparel, improved protective shelters, PALS gridding, MREs, and other military warrior innovations were developed in this area. If you don't like current MREs, just think of how much better they are than MCIC rations. The U.S. Army Research Institute of Environmental Medicine was established at the center, and the Food and Container Institute and the Navy Clothing and Textile Research Facility moved there as well. These changes were made to keep up with soldier combat needs and technological advancements between the 1960s and 2000s. The center was placed under the U.S. Army Material Command, later renamed the U.S. Army Material Development and Readiness Command. The U.S. NRDC was renamed in October 1992. The ATC's subordinate Army Natick Soldier Research, Development, and Engineering Center is still known by this designation. In November 1994, a U.S. Army Soldier Systems Command SSC was established in Natick. The United States Army Soldier Systems Center was then given as the new name for the facility in October 1998. We've compiled a few odd and intriguing NSCC creations in this video. The photographs from the Natick Soldier Systems Center photographic collection are meticulous and thorough since they were shot on large format film. Please kindly subscribe, like, and comment. for watching. If you liked the video, please kindly subscribe and see you on the next one.